they posted the story today about the D.C. Children and Youth Investment Trust Corporation and about how you, among others, had, had sought money through various ways to get uh, things done. Uh, it doesn't really make a damning case uh, in your situation. It says you got a 300, some $387,000 mm-hmm. grant for the Fort DuPont. Is it the Fort DuPont right, ice rink? the ice arena. And, and, the, worst thing, and the worst thing that connected to it is you got $550 in, in campaign contributions during 2007 and eight. Pretty small sum over all. But I think what the the issue is, it's across the board, there's not enough accounting, clear accounting of money that you guys use this investment trust company to get things done, that, and the reports are not filled out, the campaign reports are not filled out fully as to who gave the money and who they are and how all of that. So this, I do think the better reporting is really necessary. So we all know who you're talking to. Who you're, you know, who's, yeah, who you're swimming I, and I with think in there the are grounds for that. The trust, in, in this instance, the trust um, has two roles. Um, when we when we did earmarks, which have now been eliminated, which I'm going to fight to try to get those back in place. But the trust had two roles. They were the fiduciary for the earmarks um, that we awarded to specific groups, and they also have their own um, grant funding authority. So they have money aside from what the district. Um, gives them to award other grants, you know, competitively. So they had two functions. But do you agree that the, do you think the bad image now of the council and to some degree the mayor is warranted? Do you think it's overplayed? Is it about right? It just seems across the city, and I was at a shopping up on Far Capitol Hill in a grocery store, and this gentleman I don't know came up to me, just wanted to complain about the council. Mm -hmm. saying, why are they allowing themselves to wallow in the mud so much? You know, I I think it's based on opinion. I've heard some great positive things, and I've also heard, you know, why is there so much, it seems like there's almost an attack, you know, on certain (laughs) members of the council. So people look at it both ways. No, I mean, I've heard complaints <laughs> that only the African Americans know are, are under attack. Is that a no, fact? I mean, it, it's still. I mean, I still feel some you don't friction. Think that. No, I don't think that. But I do feel that um, there's still some fr- friction with the Gray supporters and the Fenty supporters. I'm um, in this city. Uh, this last campaign, I saw the greatest division. Uh, that I've ever seen in the city. And I think people are still holding that division. I think that Mayor Gray is doing a great job in trying to bring the city together under his one city concept. And I think people need to buy in. But right is right and wrong is wrong. And I think we do need to get to the bottom of all of these investigations and we need to move on um, with the city business. Is there a sentiment on the council? Because you seem to be hinting at that. Is there a sentiment on the council and among supporters of council members that there is just too much scrutiny on every little tidbit of council affairs that are going on because Tom and I would say such scrutiny is entirely appropriate. Yeah, I I think it's appropriate, but I mean, it seems like it's a climate of, you know, look at some of the great things that we're doing. Don't just focus on on the the questionable things, but there (laughs) there are a lot of great things going on, um, especially in Ward 7, but throughout the city. So I think we need to focus on that. 